So I currently look like Isabel from Animal Crossing, so we're gonna fix that in just a second. Jess, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day so far. In today's video, I am sharing seven short hairstyle ideas because sometimes short hair is just like, it is hard to style, it is hard to figure out like what the heck do you do with such little hair. So today I'm giving you guys some hairstyling inspiration, some ideas on what you can do with your hair to mix it up, change it up. I would like to make like a little general PSA that the other day at like 2 a.m., I don't know what possessed me to do this, but I just felt this uh, need to cut my hair. So I cut three inches off my hair. So if you guys notice my hair being a little bit shorter than in my last video, it is, this only happened like three days ago, two days ago, I am still trying to figure out how to work with three inches less of hair. So I just wanted to let you guys know that that's a thing. That's why my hair is shorter. And also I would like to say thank you to Aussie and Target for sponsoring today's video. I'm so excited to be working with them. If you guys have been struggling on how to style your short hair, if you've just been doing that one hairstyle that your hairstylist showed you and you're trying to, you know, branch out a little bit, today's video it's it. And the last thing, of course, is if you're not subscribed yet, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below to join the family. And with that, let's hop right on in. So last night I did a little target run, one of my favorite things to do in the world, a late night target run. things that I also picked up at Target, which I don't know how you can go to Target and not pick up a ton of things. I feel like that's just in the nature of Target. You go to Target for one thing, you come out with like 10 things. But what I picked up for this tutorial was the Aussie Clean Volume Dry Shampoo and the Aussie Clean Texture Dry Shampoo. Both of these are so great and so helpful when it comes to styling hair because dry shampoo, especially volume and texture dry shampoo, it just, it gives such a good grip and hold. So that way, if you're like styling your hair, it's not gonna fall. I also have a regular brush, a bristle brush, some bandanas, you guys know I'm crazy about bandanas, a really cute scrunchie, some regular black hair ties, little thing of bobby pins, and lastly, one of my current favorite things, little barrettes. These are just like little alligator hair clippies. The first hairstyle that I'm gonna show you guys is one that I'm actually currently wearing. It's this straight hair look with these little flippy ends. So I posted a picture a couple weeks ago where I had this hairstyle, and so many of you guys I saw on Pinterest saved this photo as hair inspiration, hair you wanted to recreate. So I wanted to include this option into this video just as an idea. This one is super easy to do. All you have to do is straighten your hair and all you do at the end is you take your straightener and you start curving it up. Do that all over and you end up with this really cute kind of like 60s inspired hair flip. What I do to make this hairstyle look really perfect and emphasize the ends, take my little bristle brush and I run it through pretty tautly through my hair and at the end I just curve the brush up. Completely defrizzes your hair, it gets all those stray flyaway pieces. See it just really encourages these hair flips to be kind of emphasized and a little bit more prominent. There are a couple ways I like to style this little flippy hair look and one of the ways you can spice up this little hair look, add a little flair, is to use those barrettes that I mentioned earlier. So one look that I like to do to have my hair completely forward and then I'll just tuck a barrette on each side. It's a very decades inspired look. I think this is a really cute look that incorporates current trends. I also think it would look great contrasted with maybe an all black outfit, something that would really just kind of oppose the hairstyle. It would be a nice juxtaposition of the two looks. The style also looks super cute with a headband or a bandana of some kind. So I'm just taking this black and white polka dot one. So basically I'm just wrapping a bandana a pretty traditional way. I just like to have my bow just slightly off center. I always like to pull a couple pieces out to make it look a little bit more messy and casual. That's totally up to you if you wanna do that. And there we have it, another easy way to change up this little flippy end hairstyle. And now we're gonna move into the territory of actually styling my hair. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take the clean texture dry shampoo and spray some of this to my roots. As I mentioned earlier, the reason that I'm doing this is this is going to give my hair some nice grip. It's gonna make sure my hairstyle stays nice and in place. I'm also going to apply some of the volume dry shampoo just to give me some additional uh, volume. And I'm just going to rub this all in. So as you guys can see, I have quite a bit more texture and volume than I did a minute ago. So this next hairstyle we're gonna do is a half up, half down hairstyle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my thumbs and I'm just gonna go on the side of my head grabbing a pretty good sized chunk of hair. Probably not gonna get your sectioning right on the first time, so pull out any strands or add any pieces that you may have missed. Usually for me, I grab too much hair on one side, so I have to even it out by pulling little pieces out. 
I would say this is a good half of my hair. It's quite a bit of hair. And as you guys can see, the texturing and volumizing dry shampoo has definitely given my hair quite a bit of lift. It's looking real good. Then I'm just gonna take my black hair tie and I'm going to knot this off. I currently look like Isabel from Animal Crossing, so we're gonna fix that in just a second. Usually when you knot off your hair, it's going to be pretty flat at the front, so just pull out any pieces to loosen it up a bit, make it look a little bit more volumized, messy. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take another hair scarf. The fabric of this is very lightweight and silky, so it looks really great with this hairstyle. It gives a lot of movement, it's very flowy. And basically what I'm gonna do is wrap this hair scarf around my mini pony, and then knot it off, and nagle with it a bit just to make it look how I want it to, brush out the bottom pieces so they don't look all wild. And then I wanna add some volume to my pony, so I'm just going to brush up a bit to make it look a little bit more full and voluminous. And then I'm gonna tuck the little bandana ends back and that is the look. I think this would be the perfect hairstyle for a day at the pool or the beach where you just want your hair out of your face, but you wanna you wanna have it looking cute, add a little flair to your hair, have something going on. I think this is the perfect fun hairstyle for that. Our next hairstyle is pretty similar to this one. What we're gonna be doing is taking the aforementioned scrunchie. We're gonna leave our hair in our half up, half down pony, but what I am gonna do is do some more of that brushing up that I did earlier just to add some more volume to this. If you want, you can add some more of that dry shampoo texturing volume just to have a little bit more going on. Right now, I think mine's pretty good. I currently have a lot of volume and texture. I'm just going to take my hair and wrap it around the little, the little nub and make this cute little bun. And then I'm gonna take my scrunchie and knot it off. I'm gonna pull the bun down a little bit so it's not as like straight up. And any pieces that are poking out or that you don't like, you can of course take a bobby pin and just pin it down. And I'm just gonna pull a couple strands out from the front to complete that whole very casual, kind of messy look. And that's it. And there we have it, another very summery type of hairstyle. If you guys follow me, you guys might know that I wear a lot of loose waves and curls, and this hairstyle looks so cute with loose waves and loose curls. It is truly a look. I'm gonna show you guys how I get the perfect bun with short hair, because getting the perfect bun with short hair is truly the struggle because you just don't have as much hair to work with and you have like pieces falling out of the back and all sorts of stuff. So I'm gonna show you guys how I get my version of a perfect short hair bun. So first things first, I'm gonna add some more of the Clean Texture Dry Shampoo. When putting together the perfect short hair bun, texture is important. You want that grip, you want that hold, because you wanna make sure your bun is not gonna slip out and get all crazy. Now that my hair is all textured up, I'm going to start pulling my hair into a nice high pony. If pieces fall out of the back, it's all good, it happens. I'll show you guys what I do with these hairs in a minute, but you're just gonna get your hair into wherever you would want your bun to be. I'm gonna brush through a little bit with my regular brush, get my hair going all the same direction, and then knot it off at the top with the black ponytail tie. I like to bring my hair tie up a little bit, so there's a little bit of give when it comes to the ponytail, it's not like scalp tight. And I like to pull on each side and wiggle down a bit, so I get some of this really nice all over volume. Then I'm gonna take my scrunchie just because I like the look of a scrunchie. I kind of just like shove everything into my hand, so it's really, really messy. It's not wrapped around, it's just kind of all pushed into under my hand. You're gonna have a few pieces sticking out, so just take a couple bobby pins, adjust it until you get a look that you like. For me, this is a pretty cute looking bun. And then for all of the little hairs in the back that are just hanging out, they're a little too short to make it into the bun, so I'm gonna take a really cute little hair clip and I'm gonna just scoop these all up and clip them in. Pretty much with any hairstyle, I always pull pieces out. This is how I do my perfect short hair messy bun. Rather than having 10 bobby pins all at the back, I think the one barrette looks so cute. And because it is bigger and it holds a lot more, you don't end up with a ton of little pieces spilling out. It just stays nice and secured and locked. The next hairstyle, I'm actually gonna change my part. I'm gonna move everything over onto one side to get a nice side part going on. Wow. <laughs> this is wild. And I'm actually gonna brush out my hair a bit as well. For this hairstyle, I want volume at my roots, not so much at the ends. This hairstyle is super simple. This is a great one for if you need to just style your hair really quickly, you're running out the door, you're running late, but you wanna polish off your look and get your hair looking good. Once your hair is side parted, what you're going to do, you're going to take your hair back on one side and pin it. I don't like to pin all of my hair. I like to leave a few strands at the front. And to make it look a little bit more fun and kind of retro, I take the second hair clip make it parallel to the first clip and add it right on top. Then I'm just gonna adjust this side to make it look a little bit more 
how I'd want it. Loof it a little bit, add some volume back in, pull some strands out, of course, because that's just what I do. And our next hairstyle is complete. I love the look of this one. I think it looks so just vintage and retro inspired. It's such an easy way to kind of switch up your look, just switching the part of your hair and then pinning a side back. I think it just completely changes the vibe of your appearance. It's a little flat in the morning, add some of the volume dry shampoo, get some oomph and just poof it around a bit, get it to be your desired look. And one of my go-tos when I don't have the time to do a full styling in the morning, I'll just flip it over onto one side, add some dry shampoo, suck up all that oil, add some volume, and then I'll just add these little barrettes. And I feel like this is just a look. This is such an easy look to achieve. You can definitely do this one in less than five minutes. That is the last hairstyle. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope that if you've been looking for different ways to change up your short hair, style it differently, just get some hairstyle inspiration on what you can do with your hair. I hope this video helped out. And if you guys recreate any of these hairstyles, send them to me, tag me, I'd love to see. Like I said earlier, these hairstyles are not anything too complex or crazy or complicated. They're just like simple things that you can do in like five minutes or less. Thank you again to Aussie and Target for sponsoring today's video. I was so excited to work with you guys. And if you guys want to check out this dry shampoo, I will have it linked in the description box. Or if you love the experience of shopping or you just want to go to Target, it is also available for purchase at Target for only $4.99, which I think is a pretty great buy. When I went to Target to pick these up, they were doing a really great special for these. When you buy like four, you get a $5 Target gift card. I don't know if that's just at my Target, but it's definitely worth checking out. So if you guys want to pick this up, head to your local Target or check out the link in the description box. And to end today's video with my quote of the day segment. Today's quote of the day says, what you think you become, what you feel you attract, what you imagine you create. So think on that as we go into the week. Thank you again for watching today's video. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. I love you guys lots and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. I think I'm falling for you, adore you, the universe empty without you. Don't think I ignore you, such royalties hard to find. Your design is refined, one of a kind, unwind. Elegance under moonlight, shining bright under daylight. Your style is impressive, personalities expressive.